I, I'm really happy for you. I'm gonna let you finish. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. One of the best videos of all time. Were you expecting Beyonce to bring you up, and what did you think of that gesture? Um, they told me to stand by the side of the stage, um, and I didn't really know what was going to go down, but I thought it was just so wonderful and gracious of her to do what she's always done. She's always just been a great person before anything else, before the talented artist, the superstar. She's always been a great person, and I just... I thought that I couldn't love Beyonce more tonight, and then, I, I, then tonight happened, and it was just wonderful. And what, what went through your mind when he came up and then, he, like, they, they cut off the... Um, well, I, I was standing on stage and I was really excited because I had just won the award. And then I was really excited because Kanye West was on the stage. And then I, um, then I wasn't so excited anymore <laughs> after that. Extremely uh, difficult. Um, I just, just dealing with the fact that I hurt someone or took anything away, you know, from a talented artist or from anyone. Because I, I, I only wanted to help people. You know, my my entire life, I've only wanted to give and do something that I felt was right. And I immediately knew in this situation that it was wrong and it wasn't. A spectacle or just you know it's actually someone's uh, emotions right. you know that I stepped on and it was very it was just it was rude period and you know mm -hmm. I'd like to be able to apologize to her in person and you know I wanted to so when did you know you were wrong was it afterwards as you were doing it when did it strike you uh oh like like soon as I gave the mic back to her and then she didn't oh. keep going <laughs> <laughs> To all the other winners tonight, I'm really happy for you, and I'm gonna let you finish. But Kanye West has had one of the greatest careers of all time. And right now, I am honored to present the 2015 Vanguard Award to my friend, Kanye West. And look at that. You know how many times MTV ran that footage again? Because it got them more ratings. You know how many times they announced Taylor was going to give me the award? Because it got them more ratings. I have decided in 2020 to run for president.
all my South Side niggas that know me best, I feel like me and Taylor might still have sex. Oh, well, this this one is, uh, I think this is a really cool thing to have. Uh, thing to have. Uh, I know, definitely. it's like a compliment to my job. Yeah. What I give a fuck about is just you as a person and as a friend. I want things that That's make sweet. you feel good. I don't want to do rap that makes people feel bad. I feel I just had a responsibility to you as a friend, you know, and, um, I mean, thanks for, um, I mean, thanks for being, like, so cool about it. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Um, yeah, I really appreciate it. Like, the heads up is so nice. So my next single, I wanted you to tweet it. It's the, it's a Good Friday. It's a Drop as a Good Friday song. So that's why I'm calling you. That I wanted you to put the song out. Yeah. All right. Like, um, what would people? I guess it would just be people would be like, why is this happening? Well, the. Like they think I had something to do with it, probably. Well, the reason, the reason why. It will be happy to is because it has a very controversial line at the beginning of the song about you. What does it say? Okay, so it says, and the song is so, so dope. And I've literally sat with my wife, with my whole management team, with everything, and tried to rework this line. Re I've thought about this line for eight months. I've had this line, and I've tried to rework it every which way. And the, the, the original way that I thought about it is the best way, but it's the most controversial way. So it's, it's, it's going to go Eminem a little bit, so can you brace yourself for a second? Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> uh, it says, wait a second, you sound sad. Well, is it going to be mean? No, I don't think it's mean. Okay, then, then let me hear it. Okay. It says... Um, to all my South Side niggas that know me best, I feel like Taylor Swift might owe me sex. <laughs> <laughs> That's not me. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, this is the thing where I'm calling you because you got an army. You own a country of motherfucking two billion people. 